Okay, we have um, an amazing number of people who've just shown up as attendees. Uh, we're so excited everybody's here. I wanna start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Matt Sillity. I am the chair of the MFA in Comics program. Uh, I'm here on the Oregon coast right now, um, zooming in so that we can um, enjoy a night of comics, an afternoon of comics by some of my favorite people in the world. This is the graduating class of 2020. They've been working so hard for the past two years. Um, they're gonna be reading, performing, uh, putting together animation for you tonight. In just a moment, I'm gonna turn it all over to them uh, because this really is their night uh, and their show. I just on a personal level, I, I'm going to miss working with each of them um, on a regular basis. But the great thing about a graduate program is um, our students go from students to peers. And so I look forward to being a, a comics professional uh, side by side with them for many, many, many years to come. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna turn things over to Hina Hina here in just a moment, who's gonna start uh, with a land acknowledgement. And then from there, uh, we've got a great show for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in. We, wow, there's a lot of people here. This is very exciting. <laughs> so we'll talk to you uh, soon. Uh, again, Matt Sillity, Chair of the MFN Comics Program at California College of the Arts. And uh, these are some of my favorite, favorite people in the world. Uh, Hina Hina, it's all yours. Thank you, Matt. California College of the Arts campuses are located in Huichin and Yalamu, also known as Oakland and San Francisco, respectively, on the unceded territories of Chochenyo and Rametush Ohlone peoples, who have continuously lived upon this land since time immemorial. We recognize the historic discrimination and violence inflicted upon indigenous peoples in California and the Americas, including their forced removal from ancestral lands and the deliberate and systemic destruction of their communities and culture. CCA honors indigenous peoples, past, present, and future, here and around the world. And we wish to pay respect to local elders, including those of the lands from which you are joining us virtually today. If you're unsure of whose land you are currently residing upon, we encourage you to visit native-land.ca. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is my part. Um, I have two things to tell everybody. One is that you can find um, all of our graduate artwork at this website, comics.cca.edu. You, um, here you can see all of our graduate work from the class of 2020, and you can see um, previous graduated classes as well. So go to this website, comics.cca.edu, to um, view all of our work. And if you don't remember that website, just know that you're looking for the MFA in Comics pro program uh, work on the internet. Just do some digging and you'll find it. And then the other thing I'm going to tell you is that this year you can get the 2020 anthology. That's a um, section of all of our thesis projects. <laughs> Um, print on demand. So that means that if you want to buy a copy of this anthology, it's print on demand and you can go to this website, indieplanet.com slash CCA MFA and Comics Anthology 2020. And if you don't remember that link, just know that you're looking for the Comics Anthology print on demand, CCA MFA. Um, do a Google search and you'll find it. And I'm going to introduce Gaia Weiss for um, the start of our comics readings. Gaia Weiss is a cartoonist and musician currently residing in Oakland, California. Gaia has been creating comics for as long as they can remember, concocting characters and storylines and sketchbooks from an early age. Their artistic style can be described as stylized realism with a vibrant color palette and lush botanical motifs meshed with a sci-fi sensibility. When there isn't a pandemic, they sell other people's comics and a few of their own for Silver Sprocket, an indie comics publisher retail store 
based in the Mission District, San Francisco. Gaia is also excited to announce they will be the first artists in residence at the brand new Queer Healing Arts Center in Oakland. Go Gaia. Um, and this is Gaia Weiss. Thank you, Laura. Uh, Hi, everyone. So today I will be sharing with you an excerpt from the first chapter of my upcoming graphic novel, which is titled Supercluster. Ugh, so much to do, so little time. Plus, I'm still tired from last night. It's hard to focus when you live that double life. No, triple. I make comics. I work at an indie comic shop. And I go to all night raves too. How on earth will I manage all this? I know. I'll make a to-do list. Where do I begin? Feed the cat make coffee, eat breakfast, take a shower, do laundry, watch the news, go on social media, try not to panic, click, call family, existential crisis, eat a snack, see the doctor, do stretches, eat lunch, pay the bills, water plants, procrastinate, clean the litter box, wash dishes, notice the time, go to work, ride Bart home, space out, sleep and repeat. Am I forgetting anything? Feels like something's missing. Brr, brr. Got so many ideas for comics, but have tons of other things to do. There's never enough time to work on art. Other shit. And my art's all the way at the bottom. Somehow I'm digging through it all. All I want to do is draw in my studio. Am I really going to spend the whole day doing chores? This house is a mess. Nobody hardly ever cleans. Anyway. You know what? I can't sit around spiraling in my thoughts all day, even though that's all I feel like doing. It's time to go. But first, let me roll one real quick. Pluck, grind, fill, tuck, lick, roll, twist, done. Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> to the room. studio. When I go to the studio, I don't just walk. I dance there. Blast music in my headphones. Bus moves like no one's watching. I'm getting my groove on. Huh? 
treat the median like a runway, dance as, I, dance as hard as I can to Grand Avenue, turn around and dance down Peralta too. Till I reach my studio, Lower Bottoms, Oakland, California. Wow, huh? Wish I felt as good as you right now. What that person doesn't realize is, I'm not doing this because I'm happy. I'm doing this to remind myself that I'm alive, that life is worth living, that I'm lucky to be here now. Beep, beep. Hey, sexy. I'm not dancing in the streets to impress men. Or anyone living for that matter. I dance to honor my ancestors and those who lost their lives on this land. Right here in Oakland, too many in my community have become ancestors far too soon. For Antonio, Shalim, Arajo, Alex, Micah, Nex, Donalda, Feral, and Cash, and too many more. Grief for people you don't really know. Sometimes the weight of all this grief feels like carrying a sack full of bricks. Dance walking helps it feel less heavy. Nobody taught me how to mourn strangers. I'm kind of learning as I go along. All right, everyone, if you want to find my work, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, or just by typing in my handle. It's Gaia W dot X Y Z G A I A W dot X Y Z. And I'm out. Thanks, everybody. Next up, we have Claire Tomasi. Claire Tomasi is a writer and cartoonist from New Jersey. She can be found either on the rugby pitch or doodling at her desk. Thanks, Gaia. What's up, guys? Um, I'm going to be doing an excerpt from my upcoming graphic novel, Rug Bay, Blood, Sweat, and Beers, Art and Story by Me, Colors by Mickey Quinn. All right, let's see if we can do this. Hmm. Vernon Valley College sophomore dorms. You're joking. What do you mean you're quitting? Paige, I thought dance team was your thing. Yeah, well, it's just, I've been doing dance like forever. With those over competitive bitches and their psycho instructors, I never get cast for anything. This year I got tree number two. I need some spice. Uh, I mean, the activities fair is in a few days if you wanna go. Oh, no. It's too many acapella kids scream singing show tunes at you. Come on, there's gotta be something or someone. I'm not looking for a boyf, Jackie. This is college, you gotta try stuff. Like what, different flavors of boys? Boys are smelly. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait until Saturday. Let's check out some clubs. Math club, tabletop, archery, study abroad, writing club, art club, choir, swim club. Ah! Is it sad I just wanted to play video games? Then join the video game club. I'd rather get hit in the face with a ball, ball. 
Wham! Oh my gosh. Yo, are you okay? Nice catch. You sure your face isn't broken? Ma, ma what? Actually, hmm. Come with me. Hey, Ruggers. Somebody actually caught our ball. Ma, yeah, girl. Woo, nice. OMG. We're looking for new players this year, and you would be perfect. Oh, wait till Captain Dante gets here. Doom. What's going on here? This rookie caught our jackpot with her face, my dude. Ow. Hmm, impressive. Practice. Tuesday, 4.30. Be there. Rub bay. Cool. Uh, thanks, you guys. And up next is uh, Will. Will Becky Brunswick loves bears, pelicans, geckos, and bats in that order. You can find Will frequently wearing hooded sweatshirts while eating vegan cupcakes. Will, everybody. Hi, everyone. This is Elizabeth, excerpt from a graphic memoir. My mom, Moomin, my dad, PJ, me, Dujer, and my sister, Elena. Chemo. I'm Sarita. How's your transfusion going? La 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 la. And then in April, I started doing so much better. To celebrate, we even named our dog Chemo. Spelled K E M O. Visage. Tooch, I'm calling Visage. Want a haircut appointment tomorrow? Yeah, sounds good. I don't want a wig or scarf, just short and tidy is fine. Beep. And this is my portable chemo pack. We've named him Baby Igor. Beep. All done. Beep. Moving out. You're back. Catch. Uh, not really. Just moving my stuff out. Wow, sorry. Did you drop out? No, I'm doing a thing in your home called the Smith College Junior Year Program for Women in Mathematics. It's the hospital. I recognize the number, haha. -ha. Hi, Moomin. Hi, baby Igor. I'm back. Want to take a walk? Maybe it'll prevent another blood clot. Let's rank the hospital art. Gender queer. If there's anything you want to say to your mom, I just don't want you to have regrets. I'm good. Hey, Moomin. Beep. I think dad wants me to tell you I'm a boy. But I'm not. I'm genderqueer. I know. Maybe you should read the Wikipedia page on genderqueer out loud to him. And the one on genderfuck. I've been going by Lyle on my Frisbee team. 
Cool. Gender queer is the spectrum of gender identities outside the binary. Umbrella term. I had patients who regretted their sex change operations. Were you even listening? I made you a crossword. Weed. Ding dong. I got it. What is it? It's a uh, marijuana packed in coffee from Rachel's son in California. We thought it might help her eat again. Is that a bomb? No, it's a vaporizer. You guys are such hippies. Your mother is a hippie, not me. She lived in Hawaii and did LSD and worked at a natural grocery store. I want Indian food. You might want to start with something gentle. No, Indian food and a bear paw cookie. Final family vacation. Wow, PJ, thanks for finding this place. Can you uh, help bring stuff in? Let's eat on the porch tonight. The Ibaba turtle is coming to get you. Another round of family fun night? Not for us tonight. And that's the end of mine, but up next is an eccentric cartoonist who makes surreal slice of life comics about living with mental illness. While he enjoys trail running in his free time, he can't run away from himself. Please welcome Daniel DeHaan. Uh, well, that was amazing, by the way. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I will be reading my first comic that I ever made in this program and published. Uh, so here is Bedrock Peak. Snore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no. It's 12.04 p.m. You slept in again. Again? 12.04? So what? So what? So I banish you to a depressive funk. Where where am I? I feel so cozy. Hmm. Welcome. Uh, huh? To Bedrock Peak. Well, wait a second, I, I can't get up. Er, er. Of course you can't. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. But why fight it? Everything you need is right here. Up here, you're safe. Huh, yeah. Wait, no. Wow, you're even dumber than I thought. Of course you're not. The truth is, you're just too afraid to leave. So just relax, stay put, and get comfortable. Unless you prefer to jump. 
Gloom? That's what I thought. You know the best part? This would be so easy for literally anyone else. You'll never get out of here. Hmm. You're wrong. I may be afraid, but I'm also brave. It takes courage to have self-love, and I forgive myself for being here. Plus, I have a secret weapon. Let me guess. Is it a jetpack? A submarine? What could you of all people possibly have to get out of here? Huh? It's water. No. Water is the nectar of the gods. Hydration is important self-care. No. Sayonara, motherfucker. The end? All right. Up next uh, is Talia Dutton. Talia Dunn is an LA-based cartoonist who writes fantasy comics that are thinly veiled autobiography, and autobiographical comics that are somewhat fantastical. She likes drawing magic, vintage clothing, witches, and swooshy hair. In other words, if she could live in a cottagecore aesthetic blog, she would. Please welcome Talia Dunn. Thank you for that introduction, Daniel. Wake up. Three. Two. One. Pull it. Chunk. Ah. Perhaps a Slight miscalculation on my part. Francis, what happened? I may have underestimated the power surge this would cause. Hold on, I've got... Come on. Mm. Did it work? Oh, there goes the generator. Francis, look. Oh my God. Mora? I don't, I don't think so. I don't remember. Oh, Mora, look, it's Lady Blueberry. Do you remember her? You lost her in Chandley Park. What? Three different times? I think Two of the times she ended up in the rose garden, or was that your other animal? I don't remember if it was, you had so many and I've forgotten it, how many dolls you had, but. And you're just chanting in the bathroom. And... Oh. I've been looking for that. I thought I'd lost it.
It's from right after you came to live with us. Jin took it. That's me. Lords, look at how short my hair was. And that's... Yeah, that's... Mora, you. I... Excuse me. I have to go. So, if you're Mora, why am I here? don't even look like you. Leave me alone. That's the end of that. Next up uh, is a cartoonist whose affinity for philosophy, history, and the surreal intersects to weave tales that capture the human spirit and all of its grandiose imperfections. Friends, please welcome Dusty. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for the introduction, Talia. Um, I would like to show you uh, a motion comic version of my project masks, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Ia! It's you! You, Bella, father to the lost and speaker of shadows. It's me, Taro. I did it. I really made it. And now that I'm here, please accept my offering and grant me my freedom! You know, this doesn't exactly look like a prison. So unless this is some new form of torture, you could at least tell me where I am, or where you're taking me. Kowal takes thieves to court of Buko. Buko? The Grand Shaman? <laughs> yes, soon I, Kowal, will expose thief for blasphemy. Then Kowal shall be hero to all the kingdom. Then shall Thief know where is prison. Blasphemy? Are you, are you insane? I didn't... Kowal almost forget to tell the laws of court. Kowal tell you now. Number one. The gods speak truth and speak it to the shaman. Number two. The law of the gods is the law of mortals. The law has the first word. And last, law number three. Deal. Grand Buko, we near before you. Grant us your holy audience as we listen to your immortal truth in silence. Kill.
Thank you. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce uh, Lawrence Lindell. Lawrence Lindell is a cartoonist, zinster, musician, and educator from California. His work focuses on blackness, queerness, mental health, and healing. Thank you for that, Dustin. Um, this is from my comic, Both, and it's a comic about coming out as queer. Three, the call, Alondra Boulevard. Bring, bring, bring. Hmm? Bring, bring, bring. Hello? <gasps> hey, you. I'm good. I'm just lying down. Just got home from school. Yeah, I really missed you, too. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> oh, hey, do you still want to come to the show on Saturday? Yeah, it's a hardcore show. Might be some metalcore bands, too. Here, check this out. It's good, I swear. That's my hardcore voice. So good, right? Breakdown. School was lame today. I hate it so much. Oh, for real? Damn, that sucks. That's so gay. Hello? Are you still there? Hello? Wait, what? Why? Don't say what. What did I say? How? But all I said, I know you were bi, but I didn't mean. I'm listening. Lawrence. So Lawrence. That's so Lawrence. I never saw it like that. Um, so, yeah, talk to you later. Thank you. That was a chapter from Comic I Have Called Both. And up next, we have Mike Rossi. Mike is a cartoonist and illustrator based in San Francisco who enjoys connecting with people through his art. His love of food, travel, and exploring new things helps to fuel his fascinations with stories. Hi, everybody. Thank you for that introduction, Lawrence. Um, going to share my screen. Um, so I'm going to be doing a reading from uh, my comic memoir entitled Branches, um, and I would also like to uh, dedicate this reading to my mom. Then, because life is kind and life is cruel, mom rebounded. There was a small feeling of relief. She was so short she couldn't even reach the IV bag. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's exaggerating again. My family came down for the weekend, so I talked myself into going to visit some friends. Say hi to the gang for us. I told myself it was okay to take a break. I was able to take a breath. I took a real shower, did some laundry, had a beer. Be relieved. The next morning I felt good. Bye. Thank you. I told myself things were going to be okay. 
And they were. Hi, Mom. The rest of the day passed, and one of my sisters and I left to spend the night in a nearby apartment we were renting. We had been taking turns staying there, and it was just about as comfortable as strange accommodations could be. Zzz, zzz. When I wasn't in the hospital with her, I would sleep with my phone in my hand. Mom's in a lot of pain. She's saying she can't do it anymore. That sense of dread settling in again. Beep. 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 How is this happening? This can't be happening. The tumor isn't normal. Do you see that tree outside? Now take that image, hold it in your mind. Shrink it, shrink it down, smaller, smaller still. The tumor is growing like those branches through her liver. It's preventing the liver from doing its job. There isn't anything else we can do. I kiss her cheek, try to smooth her hair. Mom? Her eyes struggle. Even her tears are yellow. That morning, my sister was driving us to the hospital. And I spent it tormenting myself. My thoughts were desperate. It would be selfish, inexcusable. She was dying and that was not something she needed to hear. What do you say to someone you love when you know they are going to die? When you're running out of chances to say something. When they have no more time, but you still have a whole life ahead of you without them. You should tell her. What the hell is the matter with you? How can you make this about you? You can't tell her. You can't possibly be that selfish. She's going to die. She doesn't need to know this. It's only going to hurt her. Tell her. You're selfish. Don't make this about you. It's only going to hurt her and make it worse. It doesn't matter. Keep your fucking mouth shut. She doesn't need to know. Why are you like this? Why do you have to be like this? God, I hate you. Back in that hospital room, my two sisters and I around the bed Mom laying there, breathing deeply, 
eyes closed. Conversation was strained when it came. What do children talk about while watching their mother die? Something clicked in my head. I wish I could remember what it was. Can I talk to mom alone for a minute? Sure. Okay. Click. Mom? I didn't know if she was awake or not. I don't know if I wanted her to be awake or not. I have something to tell you. Mom, I'm gay. It was the first time I said those words out loud. I'm gay. I'm sorry, I hope you aren't disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I love you. She loved me anyway. They removed the feeding tube on a Sunday. She fought to wake up one more time on Wednesday. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. I love you all. So much. They said it wouldn't be long, but she refused to let go. We waited with her and told her we loved her, that we would be okay, that it was okay to leave. The sound I made when my heart broke. Mom died on a Saturday. Um, thank you. So uh, next up is um, Laura Shoemaker. Laura loves that she is now a professional cartoonist, officially. Just kidding. A degree in comics doesn't really make you professional. But Laura sure has loved making and talking about comics with her beloved cohort during her time at CCA. Laura's from St. Louis and works at an elementary school where she helps kindergartners count to 20 and compliments their drawings. She's interested in teaching comics to older kids someday. Thanks, Mike. Um, okay, hello everyone. I'm gonna remember to share my screen this time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mom, can you see it? Yeah. Great. Okay. So um, me and my co-reader, Andy, will be reading um, the first part of my thesis. And it's called Tall Town. Communication. Communication. It's all about communication, my friend. It's talking. <laughs> talking. My partner and I have been together for 20 years. Why? Because you talk. 
We talk. We get each other. Sure, we have ups and downs. Hey, shouldn't we get going? Uh, yeah, here we go. Where's the button? Ah, dig. <laughs> Seems to be working. So, we have some time on the way back if you need to vent more. Actually, I'm not that upset about this breakup. I see. There are way worse things. Being stuck in a rut where it's impossible to grow or smothered, cut off from other loved ones, or trapped in something harsh and confining. No, I'm not upset. I'm grateful. You seem grateful. And it's brave of you to give alone a chance. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! What the? Oh. One won't let go. Huh. Well, what do we do if it's snagged like this? There are more buttons. Uh oh. Here. <laughs> oh, wow. Seems like a lot of beams for just... Such a small bit, I know. Anyway, I probably should just be alone right now. Sure. Take the space you need. And don't feel bad about it. So the rest of the job is pretty automatic if I remember correctly. I'm just going to put our delivery location into the navigator here. Do, 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 do. Uh... That was really easy. I feel like I didn't even do anything. Sorry, I am distracted. You did though. You put in the dick coordinates. Oh, right. Besides, I wouldn't want to burden you with any task too important right now. You may say you're okay, but I can tell you're going through a difficult time. So, what sounds good for lunch? Thank you. Sorry about the carnage. And um, this is uh, my 
Instagram handle if you'd like to see more of that. Um, let's see. Our next cartoonist is made out of wire and blasting caps. Please put down your chainsaws and give your undivided attention to Sonia Saturday. Hi, thanks, Laura. Uh, first of all, I just want everyone to know my cat just woke up. And as everyone in my cohort knows, my cat likes to come up here and be on camera. So that may, that may happen, but please pay attention to the video and not the very cute cat that's sticking her tail in the way. Uh, okay, so uh, let's do this. And begin. Or not. the Capitol Records building. We must be in Los Angeles. Hmm. Oh, look, someone's sleeping on a roof. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> Ag! Hmm? Ag! Leap. Wump. Rip. Wow, oh my gosh, thank you. No worries. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm Elzax. Nice to meet you, Elzax. I'm Cynthia. That flower looks really nice on you, Cynthia. Thanks. I hope you're hungry. Oh no, look at all that blood. Oh, it's the Hollywood Tower. I guess we're still in Hollywood. Okay. Hey, who's that? Oh, it's the, it's the same, same characters from before. Munch, 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 munch. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. Hey! Hey, yo! Hey, you share food? Yeah, come on over. Mm hmm. Munch, 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 munch. Yog! Eh? Hey, what is it? Come on, yo! What is where? Love, babe. There! Yeah! Flap, 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 flap. Hey, hey, love, down here, yo. Loves, help. Jump it. Squawk. Gulp. 
Womp. Oh, crap. Hold on. There we go. Womp. Oof. Ah. Ah. Snatch. Ah. Yeah. Ah. ah. It's a lot of screaming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, now it's the Pacific Theater's building, which really is just a couple blocks away, but we don't need to get into that. Oh, who's that? Rumble, 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 rumble. Moink, moink, moink. <sighs> eh. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hey, yo, bananas. <laughs> bananas, eh. Bananas! <gasps> Gasp! Bananas! Bad flies! Hmm? Ark, ark, runs it. Ark, 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 yeah. Wink, youch. Wham, oof. Yeah. Peck, 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 peck. Ah! Peck, 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 peck. Ah! Bananas. And uh, that's uh, that's the end of that. Uh, uh, yeah, that that is that. Uh, let's see. So uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, okay. So your next presenter is a writer by choice, an artist by duress, and a poor person by way of the former. He often lies awake at night thinking about the downfall of capitalism which seems far off and unimaginable at times. But damn it all if he won't try to hurry along its death by creating a few anti-capitalist comic books for the kids. Please welcome Lucas Soto. Hey everybody. Uh, I've got a little video prepared to play and I'm just gonna get right into it. The comic you're about to see is the first half of a manga that has just been submitted for the 100th annual Tezuka International Manga Award. It's co-created by me and my brother Sam. And before I forget, I should inform you that it is manga and therefore reads right to left. All right, let's begin. Loth, classification dwarf planet, jurisdiction IPB hegemon. Brinton Military Boarding Academy. Planet Gamelot, seat of the Artan Republic and home to the End Dragons. Ruled the old worlds through tyranny and fear. With the powerful Knights of the Ring at their side, they cowed neighboring star systems into becoming their vassals. It wasn't until the interstellar planet brokers defeated the Artan Republic that the galaxy was finally freed from their terror. And peace, order, and justice could be established. We must pray that Artan never returns to endanger the freedom we have built.
but one weapon from their civilization still remains. One they hid away from the IPB at the end of the war. A threat. <laughs> Cadet Edivir. Huh? Tack. Does my lecture bore you, Cadet? Or is it that you know so much already, you see no need to listen? Perhaps you'd like to tell the class what the name of Artan's technological superweapon was. Oh, I actually know this one. It was Zalburn, sir. Zalburn, the planet destroyer. Correct. And how was it that the IPB was able to win the war despite Artan's superior weaponry? Uh, uh, um, more allies? Wrong. Scritch, scritch. Next time you fall asleep in my class, try dreaming of the reed. They defeated them with economic dominance, enticing Artan ruled colonies with better luxuries, thus inspiring them to rebel against their masters. The question was not addressed to you, Cadet Zale. You speak out of turn. Was I wrong? Maybe it's the actual truth you were looking for. Dude, what are you doing? You know, that the IPB extended our tanned disarmament treaty? Not another word, Cadet. And while Artan honored that treaty, the IPB didn't. It's a lot easier to defeat an unarmed opponent, after all. Enough! Detention for both of you. Me too, but I didn't do anything! I've had enough of this school. It teaches nothing but lies. Good for nothings. Making trouble again. Worst part is, everybody here just goes along with it. I know! But why do you have to be so righteous about it, man? I'm missing Card Battle Club tonight because of you. Sorry. I just can't help myself sometimes. It's this place. It pisses me off. Yeah, man. Down at Port Town. It made me glow when I drank it. Dude was sketch, though. Called himself a wizard. Look who we have here. A couple of ungrateful degenerates with nothing better to do than spread filth. The heck do you want, Garen? My father's an IPB officer. You insulted his honor today. Insulted his honor. I think I deserve an apology on his behalf, don't you? Let's hear it. I don't think so. In fact, I'm sure he deserves far worse, if for no other reason than bring, helping bring you into this world. What did you just say to me? What did you say to him? Come on. Go ahead and repeat it. Let's see what happens. He won't say it. He's all bark, no bite. Ding. Dong. Huh. Saved by the bell. I've got my eyes on you. He's got his eyes on you. Forget about them, Zale. They ain't worth it. Fine, but we're skipping next period. I'm too pissed to go now. Loth Orbit, security station number three. Burp. How many cans of nutrient slop can one man eat? I know, right? Right? Even the food on this god for second station is boring. Know what else sucks? I was told plants here to be glorious. Turns out the brochures are a bunch of bull. Beep. 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 What the? This thing. It just started beeping. Look at that. Something's heading straight for Loth. What do you reckon it is? 
says unidentified. So, probably nothing? Yeah, probably nothing. Port Town. What are we doing here, Eddie? I figure you want to go to an arcade or something. But now that we're here, I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Port Town isn't usually this lively. Look at the people. Their eyes are glowing blue. They're all coming out of there. The Rose and Starling. This must be the place we overheard those guys back at school talking about. He's a real wizard. I believe it. I need another one. I can pay you back later, man. Another over this way, good wizard. My wife refuses to share. A quick reminder that I'm working alone here, folks. So I'll get to you when I get to you. Here you are. A couple of high-gravity brews. Slam. Put us down for a discount. No such thing. Not going to lie, Zale. This place is giving me some real weird vibes. Yo! Boys in the back! Come up to the bar! I'll brew up a storm for you. Yo, am I seeing this? Or things? Or is that a child? Sure looks like one. So, you like a real wizard or what, kid? I am known far and wide as the Mage of Moonshine. The Jinxer of Juices, the Wizard of Whiskey. And you guessed it, the Almighty Sorcerer of Spirits. I am Mur, the Magical Mixologist. I have many other names as well, but my marketing team is very talented. Wink. It's me, ha ha ha. Now, what are you boys having? The menu's right above if you need help deciding. What exactly is the house challenge written up there? It's for a drink called the Tempest. Turns your eyes blue, unless you're special. Then they turn red, and your drink is free. Two of those, pronto. I can't turn down a good challenge. Sounds rigged. Rigged? Only one way to find out. Hmm, I don't know. Red eyes, here I come! Amazing! You have to try it! I don't even care that I lost. It smells like ozone. Holy socks! You won! You're practically on fire! I finally found you. My king. Well, if it ain't Zale. Skipping detention. Such impudence. Impudence. Your behaviors make us making all us proud Britain students look bad. I think it's high time we discipline you. I was strongly advised against trying that. Pipe down, Runt. This is none of your business. My father's IPB. I can have this place shut down at the drop of a hat. Uh-huh. Don't say I didn't warn you. There's no bell to save you this time, scum. Good. Gives me a chance to fit in an insult to your mom this go-round. Go to hell! Smack. Spurt. 
What are you idiots just standing around for? Get him! Rawr. Zip. Pow. Crash. Stop messing around and hit him! Duh. Okay. Hiya! Hiya! Useless morons. Making me do everything myself. Cause it... Sail! Hmm. <laughs> what is it they teach us in combat class again? Never turn your back to your opponent? Two fisted beer bottle sneak attack! Smash! Clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap, clap. Bravo! Nearly to my... Okay, time to go. Wait, come back! I still have important exposition to deliver! <sighs> I don't like this. Whatever was in that drink made me feel weird. It's alcohol. That's what it's for. No, this was different. Like all my senses were being amplified. Felt like, like I was being connected directly to the universe. Are you okay, dude? That sounds bad. Maybe an allergic reaction? I don't know. Let's just go hope. Up, Zale, look up! It broke straight through the atmosphere. It's going to crash. What do you think it was? An asteroid? A piece of satellite debris, maybe? Neither. That was a space shuttle. How do you know that? You can't have seen it. There's no way you saw it, right? Come on, they might need our help. Hey, don't ignore me. Loth orbit, security station number three. You gonna ante up? Yes, sir. Now pass me another slice. This microwave stuff ain't half bad after all that nutrient slop. Shame we gotta ration it. Beep. Beep. Darn, radar's going off again. What the heck is this? We've got three IPP space pods heading directly for Loth. IPB? What are they doing all the way out here? Alright, thank you everybody. That was uh, the first half, so the other half is finished. And if you would like to read it, you can go to uh, tinyurl.com slash rose and starling. Uh, though I forbid you to do so until after you... Uh, See our last presenter. Hina Hina Gray is a native Hawaiian and fine artist whose work explores her heritage through contemporary means. Mahalo for that introduction, Lucas. Aloha kako, aloha ahiahi. Uh, the work you are about to see is a preview of an illustrated narrative based on the first seven passages of the Kumulipo, which details the epochs of Po, the time of primordial darkness before humankind. The Kumulipo tells a story of not only the world's creation in the Hawaiian sphere, but the cosmogonic genealogy which all Kanaka Maoli can trace their heritage. It is, for all Hawaiians, the beginning.
our world is born from a hot darkness. Sliding, slimy, lit by the moon and Makali'i's first rising. Po, the darkness, heaves, and she births the first sun, Kumulipo, followed by Po's daughter, Po Eli. Po heaves again, and from her comes the coral pollen. The coral polyp, who builds and houses and nourishes. It becomes the foundation. Upon its back, all is built. Then come the ones who weave who writhe. Who heap and move soil upon the earth. Those who wriggle in the sea and those who pile the sand follow. The reef is prepared. Now come those who live in shells, spiral, rough, or smooth. The land is prepared, and their counterparts are born. Each one of the land, linked to one of the sea, The fate of each tied to that of the other. A warning, a caution. Preserve one and you preserve both. Kane energy for the narrow stream. Vahine energy for the wide stream. With each birth in the darkness, the world brightens. Earth and Vai provide for the guardians, plant or animal. In this realm of gods, there is not yet us. Thank you so much for joining us. I will hand this off now to Justin for final remarks. Hello, everybody. Uh, wasn't that amazing? Congratulations to all of our graduating students for such remarkable work and for nailing this virtual reading. Uh, my name is Justin Hall. I'm one of the professors of the CCA MFA and Comics program. Um, I'm filling in for Matt at the moment since the Oregon coast, though lovely, seems to have eaten his internet. Um, we want to remind you that you can check out the graduating classes um, burr, 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 burr. check out the graduating classes um, uh, work at, at comics.cca.edu. Let me see if I can actually uh, share that with you. Okay. All right. So uh, comics.cca.edu. And the uh, print, the anthology is print on demand at indieplanet.com uh, slash CCA MFA and Comics Anthology 2020.
So thanks again to uh, once again to this graduating class. I think their work speaks for itself with such a diverse range of stories that showcase the creativity, storytelling prowess, and artistic excellence they bring to their comics. And speaking personally, it's been an absolute joy and a privilege uh, and an honor to have been able to work with them for the last two years. It's an amazing group of people and everyone keep uh, your eyes peeled for all the work that they'll be doing in the future. So give it up once more for the graduating class of 2020. Uh, thank you also to um, everyone who tuned in this afternoon to see the show and to celebrate with all of us. So take care and have a wonderful evening. Um, maybe everybody wants to come back on, all the students come back on and uh, show yourselves, show your screens. We'll do a gallery view here. There we go. <laughs> everybody, yes. <laughs> Congratulations.